these to our special guest tonight, John Creedon. I first heard about the Donegal Storytelling Festival when I got a call from Mick McCarthy, a former colleague of mine in RT. He said, oh, John, there's a, there's a bunch there above in Donegal Town, he says, and they're talking about starting a storytelling uh, festival. And uh, they were wondering, would you be available to, to go to Donegal? And I said, well, I'm not quite a storyteller. I'm certainly not a Shenachie or, uh, or a Shkeli like that. But um, I said, certainly something I'm interested in because I, I went back to UCC some years back and did a two-year diploma course in folklore, um, Loganamnacha, place names, archaeology, local history, that kind of thing. So I think like a lot of Irish people, I have a fascination with the people who walk these streets and these fields before us. So a storytelling festival is brilliant because it's true, the storytelling, that the narrative of our, of our country is told. And yeah, history books, but history books are written by the winners, whereas the folklore, that's the story of the people and, and, and the story as they saw it. So I think there's a, huge, there's a huge wisdom, there's a huge amount of information locked inside stories. So when, when, when I was told, uh, I spoke to Shorsha then and Shorsha O'Toole and he told me it's the first year and I thought, first year? I said, fortune favours the brave, but there aren't too many people starting festivals in the current economic climate. But the economy is lifting and uh, year one has come and it looks like the festival is off to a great start. So I expect in another hundred years it'll be going even stronger. Well, the thing about stories is that Jimmy McCarthy has a great line in one of his songs about, about songs. And he speaks about the glory of a song set free, a song sung over and over. The point being, as long as a song is ink on a printed page, it's dormant, it's, it's, it's inert. But when someone takes a deep breath and goes, I bid you all, all of a sudden, they breathe life into it. And the same with a story, I suppose. The narrative can be filed away there on shelves, but unless people are talking about the story, telling the story, and the wonderful thing about folklore and storytelling is the detail, in some ways, isn't hugely important. The fact that it happened to your dad rather than you. You can put yourself in as the hero, it doesn't matter. And you can, uh, you can adjust it to your own parish rather than some other parish, and that's all part of it. But the truth is, a lot of us, I certainly got a lot of my rearing through, through stories. My father never sat me down and spoke to me about the philosophies of good and evil. But from the stories he told me, I knew who the good guys were and who the bad guys were. I knew who the decent man was and who the, 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 kind of the bully was. And so, like, um, that's the true value of storytelling. It's not so much. It's, it's, the, it's the information contained within the story. It's a, a classic example would be the parable of the prodigal son. It's a story. Within that story is a challenge that most of us will face at some time in our lives. How come he's getting all the breaks, even though I'm doing all the work? And within that parable is an explanation, um, is an understanding of that situation. So I suppose in our own stories, um, there is, there's a huge amount of information, there's a huge amount of humour, there's a lot of learning. I suppose young people still are telling each other stories, but it's abbreviated. It's by text, it's by tweet, it's limited by social media, but at least they're communicating. And, um, but I would love to think that uh, you, you need space as well. It's a bit like the glory of a song set for you need space for a, song, for a story to breathe. And with the amount of noise we have with television and everything else, there is the danger that it has to be protected by festivals like the Donegal Festival of Storytelling. Otherwise, it will only survive in occasional households. But to bring it together and to have young people hear it and start it, that's what we need, you know. Greetings from the Donegal Festival of Storytelling in beautiful Donegal town. Absolutely fantastic. Year one of the Storytelling Festival, hopefully not the last. Going on the numbers we've had around for the weekend, I expect this is going to grow and grow and grow. I could be in Cork at the Jazz. Instead, I'm in Donegal at the Storytelling. I'm all for it.